Namaste. Today on Touch of Light, I'd like to share with you some thoughts, which I'm calling, How Will Your Story End? In Swami Kriyananda's autobiography, The New Path, he tells a very beautiful story of a dream he once had. And in this dream, he had a friend who he loved very deeply, but the friend didn't reciprocate. The friend treated him condescendingly, even uh, hatefully, and it hurt Swami very deeply in this dream. And he could feel building up within him bitterness and resentment and the desire to respond in kind. And then Swami stopped himself and he said, what will be the fruit of this? Where will this story end? I will be cruel to him and he will be in a subjective position then the next lifetime the roles will be reversed, and on and on it will go. So Swami said, no, whatever attitude he may have, I will break this chain. I forgive him. Whatever he has done that has caused me pain. And he just felt such freedom. And he knew that that was some karmic seed that he had released. Well, in our own lives, we need to look at those points where we are holding on to negative emotions and resentment towards others. Maybe it's even deserved. But Paramahansa Yogananda, our great guru, said, one of the obstacles to deep meditation is negative emotions that we carry towards other people. And so I'd like to give you three tips for how you can deal with and release negative emotions. The first one is, do honest introspection. Look at the people in your life. And most of them probably you have positive relationships with. Probably a great deal they're neutral. But look at those where there is unresolved negativity. And really say, this is, own it. This is something I need to change. And the second step is to do the work. To pray for that person to hold that person in the light, to go out of your way to be especially kind to that person, even if it goes against the grain. But if we can do this, change will happen. It won't happen immediately, and it depends on how much energy we put out, just as Swami used that full force of energy to break that cycle. And, so, and the final point is keep ever vigilant. Watch your consciousness for new negative situations that you're letting fall, uh, fester in your consciousness. And if you can follow these three points, you will be free from the negativity. And then how will your story end? I hope it ends in freedom. That is the fruit of right living.